Jane, and this is art from the Airstream. All right, to do our watercolor T-Rex, we're gonna need a watercolor palette, a pad of watercolor paper, a jar of water, a couple different size brushes, not a, brush. a couple different size brushes, they just have to be soft, doesn't really matter what kind they are, a pencil, and some paper towels. I think that's it. So I've printed out a picture of a dinosaur um, from Jurassic Park, starring my friend Jeff Goldblum and some other people. So, <laughs> we're going to draw this dinosaur. And so, so first you'll need your pencil and you're, we're going to very, very lightly sketch. And just looking at this dinosaur, this is a very hard thing to draw. So what we need to do is break it down into shapes. So the shape of the head is kind of an oval. So we'll start with that. And we're lightly, lightly sketching an oval. And see I'm holding the pencil kind of sideways and not like this how you would write. You want to hold it kind of sideways and very, very light. Okay, so we got an oval here. Our body, we're going to break this down. This is another oval. It's kind of a sideways oval. Very, very lightly sketching out the oval. Alright, and then break down our legs. This leg is kind of like a, a triangle, long triangle. And then its foot is another sort of triangle shape. Alright, and then this leg it comes out here. Another kind of triangle, skinny triangle shape. And then definitely a triangle on his feet. So he's got three toes. Makes a nice triangle. Alright, and then our tail. It's kind of a long, another long skinny triangle. So if you can draw little triangles and ovals, be good to draw a dinosaur. Alright, and then we just connect all these weird shapes. Connecting my head to the body. And then this is where his little arms are gonna go. And this arm. I think his head might need to be a little bit taller. All right, and so what you're doing is you're drawing these basic shapes. Don't worry about any details, really. We're gonna get this kind of a jaw. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> very, very basic shape. So I'm just doing the, like the line of the mouth. You don't really have to worry about the teeth yet. We're gonna make a mark our eyeballs right here in our little nose hole here. All right, so that's all we're going to do with that. All right, so we're going to start painting. So we're going to take our biggest brush that we have, and we're also going to cut out a little piece of our watercolor pad to use as kind of a dabber. Sometimes it's hard to tell how much water you have and how much paint you have on your brush. So I'm gonna dip my brush in the water and I'm gonna go, instead of going for just brown first, I'm gonna look and he's kinda got an orange tone. So I'm gonna start with orange. I'm gonna dab it on the dabber. Make sure I have enough water. I want this to be really, really light at first. And I'm just going to start kind of putting everywhere I see orange on him. I'm going to add orange. Just 
a very light wash of orange. First layer before we do anything too much. Alright, so that's all the orange I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna do a little kind of dark green color. Start making them. Whoa! <laughs> Start making them a little more dinosaur like. Alright, and since I just put the orange on, this is going to kind of mix together, which is fine because it kind of turns brown and that's what color he is. So right now I'm trying to fill in where he's a little bit darker than those orange spots, but still very, very light. So my paint is still very, very watery. shadow underneath it. We want to show that there's he's standing on something. Alright, so now I'm going to change brushes. I'm going to kind of go to my medium brush. And so right now he's pretty flat. So we want to, we, how do we make him more three-dimensional? So this is when we're going to use our really dark colors. It could be black, a really dark brown. So see, when I don't have a lot of water, it makes it really dark. So that's how I use this little dabber to make sure. You know I put more on, but you can't take it off. Alright, so to make it more three-dimensional, we're going to start adding these really dark areas. These shadows. All right, so I'm gonna start right here on his leg. It's not as dark as it, it will be, but we want it to be pretty gradual. We wanna build this up pretty gradually. All right, so I'm just looking for all of the dark spaces on him. So my painting's still really wet, so I can't really make any sharp lines. That's okay. I just kind of dipped it straight in the water. I'm trying to, I don't, I don't want any defined lines yet. I just want some really, some shadows. All right. Oh, I forgot his foot down here. And 
there's a big shadow about his arm right here. All right, so everything's real runny and wet still. We're gonna change brushes. We're gonna go to our spirit, our really small brush. All right, well, we want this to kind of dry. to our smaller brush now and we're gonna go with black this will be really dry <laughs> you can hold it in the sun for a second <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to take the black and making those shadows a little bit darker. So right here, we want to be able to tell that this leg is behind him. So I'm going to make a pretty sharp shadow right there. So I got a little, maybe a little bit too dark for what I want. So I'm gonna kinda take another color and kinda blend it. Fun thing about watercolors, you can really just play with it. And it's good for dinosaur skin so it looks you can make it look real rough all right so back to our little small brush so that leg got we got it back there and then we're gonna go to this leg kind of make make it look like it's separate from the body When you do watercolor, you gotta remember to use a lot of water. All right, and so to make this leg look round, I'm kind of brushing it in a round way around his leg. <laughs> so we've got one, two, three toes I can see on this side. I can only see two toes right here. All right. Now let's go back over up here. So we want this, we're trying to make this leg pop out. Darken the tail up a little bit. And I'm just using a little bit more water to lighten that up. All right, let's go to what else is dark. This. Little arm. So we're not covering everything up that we've already done. We're just kind of highlighting and, and adding shadows to things. Right, so this little arm. So I kind of want to darken the things around this arm 
instead of actually painting the arm. So I'm going to kind of outline it and then take my bigger brush and pull that out. So it doesn't look like I outlined it. And then whatever these things are, all right, and then, oh, I guess that's his ear, huh? Never seen that before. <laughs> and then <laughs> he's got some dark right here in the mouth. Alright, we don't want things to look um, outlined, like we just drew a black line, so what we're going to do is kind of get our watery, a really watery black, and we're going to meet that line just like we did here. Sometimes we can use this other brush, and we're just going to turn that line to less of a line. Yeah, All right, then put a little bit more black around the eye. And then as you'll see as um, it's drying that things are getting lighter. The color's kind of fading away. So we're gonna wanna brighten that up. So for, for his eye, I did just like one line on the top, kind of a line on the bottom. And then one kind of through the middle. And then his little nose holes right there. All right. So now I'm going to take, go back to a kind of middle size brush. And so a lot of my orange kind of lightened up really, really good. So I'm going to kind of bring that back. if it mixes with some things. And it's a little more orange, just like a light wash over some of what we've already done. This is, you can really play around with the colors 
and play with the watercolor and see what it kind of does. When it's a little bit dry and a little bit wet. Dinosaurs were green. All right, so we're going to go. Let's see. It's a little bit in the blue. I like to use a lot of colors. A little bit of blue here. Face. colors and we're going to let it dry let's take it back in the sun but while it's drying we're going to go take our pencil again and we're going to draw in some of the teeth all right and what we're going to do is we're going to paint around the teeth, just letting the teeth be white, like the paper. Not worry about painting in white teeth. All right, so we're gonna take our small brush and we're gonna get some red, but kind of dirty it up so it doesn't look like he has a lipstick. And we're gonna add some red behind the teeth. You're just letting the teeth be the paper. All right, and then we're gonna do um, a little bit of yellow for his eye. Whoa, that was a lot of bit of yellow. So if that happens, you just kind of dab it. Alright. Yellow eye, but maybe you could put a little yellow on his teeth. He probably doesn't have white, really white teeth. Alright. And then see if these spots are dry. Now I want to do just a couple more really dark areas and then I think we'll be done. So what I'm doing is trying to look what needs to be darker and so I can see that this the mouth needs to be a little bit darker. So I'm using less water and more paint. Pretty dark. That's dark. Under the chin is pretty dark. Some of these lines around his eye. It's real dark. I need to make that bigger. to make that the darker on the eye a little bit bigger. Use a little more water. There we go. That makes him look meaner. He has two 
a happy dinosaur. This dinosaur would not have eaten Jeff Goldblum. Or tried to. Got that a little too dark, but that's okay because we just take a lot of water and get rid of it. Alright, so I'm gonna let that dry before I do put the nostril back in. Alright, and then I want a little bit darker right here. Make sure that leg is separate. And right here and make sure your tail is separate and then right here that leg is back behind the body and then our little arms get a little shadow all right then maybe let's see we'll go back to the toes And so you can just keep, you just keep painting and washing, doing washes of color until you think your dinosaur is ready. Alright, so, and the last thing you want to do is give him a little eye little pupil and then maybe a nose hole and then um, we want to sign it so how I sign paintings my name is Jane Morgan so I sign with a J and an M as my initials and I do it in the right bottom corner and it's just a J and we're done dinosaur so I hope y'all paint one and send me an idea of